We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. It's Orioles baseball, and it's coming up next. Alex Cobb, a Massachusetts-born right-hander, will get the start in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You'd think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. So striding forward now, Michael Brantley having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. Boy, this is a really good hitter, but he's desperately been struggling recently at the plate. His average is still good, but it's dropping fast. He needs a quick turnaround. First of three is underway on this Tuesday night as the opening pitch is taken for ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, for me, I'm, I'm going to go off script here. I think one of the keys to winning this game I get it. The pitcher has to throw strikes. The offense has to show up. But I need more energy, more focus. I need guys flying around. I need guys looking like they want to win a ball game. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. 2 and 1 now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Here it comes. Now a ball swung on and hit to Davis over at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting second. The third baseman. Rafael Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb. He's totaled four hits in 17 at bats. He also has one home run. Drill down the line and he tries for the backhand reach at third but he gets by the glove down the line. Oh but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. That was some great situational hitting there after That's surveying tough. the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two bagger. Now at the plate, J.D. Martinez. And he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the AL in RBIs entering play. Well, this is a small sample size because the season is still so young. But I don't have any doubt he's going to be near the top of a bunch of the leaderboards when this season is all said and done. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. Here it comes, 1 0. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2 0 now. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3 and 0. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Batting four. The shortstop. Xander. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I you touched on it, D. -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players, he makes them earn their keep. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
Devers at second. Martinez is over at first with one away. To two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Set. Here's the three and two. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. The next three two. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini moving back. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. The right fielder number the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for in there for strike one zero oh and one. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The one one. A ball and two strikes now. The one two pitch hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And this is down for extra bases. And with two out, this might get them both home. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. I'm sure that that first run comes as a relief more than anything. They could only muster one run the entire previous game. So to notch that run early takes the pressure off a little bit. And with a man standing at second, they're hoping that's just the beginning. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Here's the 1 0. Ball, Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Three and oh now. Ready with the three and oh. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first the inning, it might be a little more than Michael. just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Now at the plate, Michael Chavis. And the Red Sox with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Looking to minimize the damage here. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, d -Rose. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. Striding in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past ten contests.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work and unless he dials it in it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Got him to go after that one and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Pulled toward right center field. Mancini moving back. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Red Sox three and the Orioles nothing. Marcus Walden will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here career ERA in the low threes and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences rock solid pitcher does a lot of things well and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Here's the shortstop now Jose Iglesias. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first pitch on the way. Line toward the alley and left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. At the plate now, Dwight Smith Jr. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well. Winners of five straight prior to that game. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot top of the first throw three spot up on the board. They got the opposition on their heels behind 0 and 2 now. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So here's Trey Mancini. It was a two for five effort from him in the series finale on Sunday. Here's the first pitch to him. Ready with the 0-1. Oh, cool. Hard sinker misses two and two. Open to send him packing pitch on its way. Cutter and it doesn't make it back three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. Runner at first here one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Anthony Santander the next to bat. This is swung on and popped up crossing into foul territory now behind third. Devers has got it and that wraps up the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail it here three to nothing. Yeah. 
Standing in, Francisco Cervelli. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. And he popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now here it comes. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Here's Michael Brantley, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Here's the tag by Iglesias, and they've got him at second base. Very well could have been a hit and run attempt there. You kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. So he goes back to back with the same pitch and got him to chase it both times. He's clearly not picking up that pitch very well. So he was confident doubling up. Does he triple up on it? It's always tough to go back to back to back. It's not a good idea to swing, high drive, deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing, and this will make its way down to the 333 sign. And he'll pull into second with one away. Good piece of hitting there, but you can't help wonder what might have been if the previous play didn't unfold like the way it did. If he doesn't get tagged out, he probably scores on that one pretty easily. Instead, it's just a one-out double. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The 1 0. Misses ball two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Smith will get there with ease as he puts it away for route number two. Digging in, J.D. Martinez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. From the stretch. And he takes ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Outside and low, 3-0. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Set to deliver on 3-0. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. The 3 and one pitch. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. 
One left for the Red Sox. They lead it three to nothing. Ready now, Rio Ruiz, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch on its way. In there, strike one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Ruiz, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. He was a fourth round selection during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it well hey that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He'll be looking for better results in this one. He was 0 for 4 in the ball game back on Sunday. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's 2 and 1. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 2 1 home hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. A runner at first with no outs here. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch coming, here it is. And a ball 1 0. Chuno now. Runners on first with one down. Popped him up. Cervelli moving to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Pedro Severino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. 
The 0 1 pitch. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Chris Davis hit the plate now as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one. The one and oh delivery. Oh much too tardy on the fastball one and one. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. Still down 3-0. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Off the ball. All set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop Xander Bogarts first offering on its way a ball and no strikes and a strike to even the count one and one. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. First delivery to him on the way. That's a ball. The 1-0. Oh. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two out, nobody on. Nope. One and one. Lifted the other way to left center. Smith will wait on it. And he will put it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. of the inning now and that'll bring up the shortstop Jose Iglesias. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he fouls this one off. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Liner towards second. And there's one away. So striding in, Dwight Smith Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And here's one that misses, so it's two and one now to the Oriole left fielder. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. And that's low ball four. Well when you go with the slider there in a full count you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it didn't work out that way though he lays off and gets the free pass. And here's the big right handed power threat Trey Mancini looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the stretch here's the pitch. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Runner at first here, one man out. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Anthony Santander. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Hey. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Orioles leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing.
All set for the start of the fourth. And He's standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Michael Chavis. Michael Chavis. First pitch coming, here it is. Line towards center field. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. So one away here with the bases empty. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Fouled away. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And that's going to be high two and two now. This pitch is popped up. Ruiz is there. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that'll bring up the right-handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one. <laughs> hey, you think the game plan is to pitch this guy inside? They plunked him in the first at-bat, and they're clearly coming right back in again. A little roller toward the hole. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and set to go is the third baseman, Rio Ruiz. The third baseman, Rio Ruiz. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. All even now, two and two. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there, one away. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Standing in now, Austin Hayes. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Hit in the air to right field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And he makes the catch for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Pat Valaika comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Cold strike at the letters 0 and 1. 
Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail it here, three to nothing. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. The pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Rafael Devers. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 2 game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, with two strikes right there, he didn't try and do too much. Oh, he took what the pitcher down. gave him, got the front foot down, and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head for a knock. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez in the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six game hitting streak so far. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Drives it the other way to deep right. Mancini moving back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Great oh, job there way. by this power hitter. The Known for field. driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does that the job good. right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he has signaled to the bullpen that's going to be all for his starter Alex Cobb. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the You're L pitcher, unless please. this one turns around. Yeah, Number 70 will take the ball now as the new pitcher.
Andrew Benintendi will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. That's outside. Ooh. Two out with the man at first. Popped up. Ruiz in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit to third. Scooped up. On to second for the force out. And the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox on top, four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said the high pitch count they've run up is a result of a lot of great battles at the plate by his guys, and he's not wrong. So far, they've worked five full counts in their at-bats. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and Here now it'll be the catcher, Pedro Severino. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Smokes this one into deep center field. Ranging back is Bradley. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. So up until this point, they've had to bite and scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. Here's Chris Davis now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Set and the pitch. The 0 1 on its way. And he lays off for ball one. Davis, a native Texan. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds. And he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. That evens it up one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles leadoff hitter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there now, and he has it two gone. 
coming to the plate now. Okay. Dwight Smith Jr. It was a no walk in his last trip. Dwight Smith Jr. From the stretch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, just missing here, 2-0. Oh. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two out here and a runner at second. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The right fielder, number 16. Stepping into the box, Trey Mancini. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lays off 1 0. Two down, runners at first and second. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. Gone, and that one had some extra distance. So a three run blast is straight away left. Number 23 for him thus far, as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Yeah, he was on autopilot there for a while. Up 4 nothing, everything going his way. Then a couple of runners get on board, and all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a ball game. We'll see if he can rebound now. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here, and you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win, but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. John Gant is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Number 53, John Gant. Blake now, Anthony Santander. Anthony. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. But the Orioles push across three on the strength of a three-run home run. Through five innings, the Red Sox four and the Orioles three. Now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. He flew out in his last at-bat. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Fouled off. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. So here's Michael Chavis now. Michael Chavis. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there, 1-0.
four three our score here as we play inning number six. Two and oh now. This at bat sets up really good right here right hasn't seen a fastball yet but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. And a sinker is over that time it's back to two and one. Too much dip on the sinker laid off for a ball. The three and one pitch. And that's outside he lost him ball four. And that hole at bat I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. Now that Pepper, Francisco. Cervelli. Here's the catcher Francisco Cervelli. He swings and grounds it to short. To second for one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. The five six and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Red Sox four and the Orioles three. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Rio Ruiz. First pitch of the at bat. And this is knocked down on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Ready for another shot now. Austin Hayes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball is in there for strike one. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Now back, second baseman. Half. Well at the plate, Pat Valaika. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. There goes the runner. Pitch outside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. The 2 0 on the way. And it misses three and one now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. 
Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he pops it up. And no one can get there as it falls. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Man, I thought this at-bat was over. Down 0-2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2-2. And he's able to find a knockout there. Stepping in now, Chris Davis. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No hits to this point. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. Obviously a huge situation in the game here, but at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. Back up the middle, and he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. The run scores from second. It's a 5-4 to four game. Hey, that makes this one a lot more interesting here in the middle of innings, Dero, after being down by one. Big base hit drives in two. Yeah, that could be a huge knock right there, Dan, especially with the bullpens have been throwing. They've been nasty. There's a lot of fuel out there, a lot of fire. Doesn't bode well for the offense. Into the box, Jose Iglesias, as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. I got a ball, one strike. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. On a line, that's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. In now, Dwight Smith Jr. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. A couple of walks for him thus far. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Smith stands at six foot even. Bats left, throws right. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. One and two, here it comes. Struck him out, so two men are dead here, but there's still one big hit away from maybe opening this thing up a bit. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Trey Mancini, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. He set the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2.
a strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. From the stretch, the one two. Still a ball and two strikes. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Ready with the 1 2. And it's fouled away. One and two. Here it is. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 1 2 pitch. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Two out, bases loaded. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in the outfielder Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley. First pitch of the at bat. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. Now back. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh and that brings up the third baseman Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Hard sinker misses two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider yeah, that time. Is. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Here's J.D. Martinez. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. One ball, one strike. Line toward right center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even notice where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. 
if nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Good plate sorry, discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Another try at 2-2. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. From the stretch. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. And the deficit holds at 5-4. Chaz Rowe gets the call from now, the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Chaz Rowe. Next will be the designated hitter, Anthony Santander. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expected to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And that misses for ball one. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The 1-1 one, one home. I got 2-1 to count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. The 2 2. Bullet back up the middle. Bradley, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Digging in, Rio Ruiz. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. One pitch is taken for ball one. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Bradley. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Settling in now, Austin Hayes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? 
my philosophy is this I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non competitive pitches Matt throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Hey expect a challenge right here does not want to run the count full. The two two is swung on and missed strike three. One two three go the Orioles. They hold on to a five four lead. Tanner Scott has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 66. Tanner Scott. Ready to begin the eighth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. How about it? Stepping into the box, Mitch Moreland. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0 home. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Now the pitch. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble. Three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he fouls this one off. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Standing in now, Michael Chavis. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Left side. A dive, but it's in and out of the glove, and the inning will continue. And he will not have time to recover it short. That's an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Ball one. Verdugo is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage, without question. 1-0, 2-0, you'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself, 
He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to. The runner from first crosses the plate. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. To the plate now, Francisco Cervelli, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Counts even at one and one to Cervelli. The one one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Lays off two and two now. Too high ball three. Well all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three and they weren't far off but I think that was a good call looked to be just a bit outside the full count offering and this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended a great pitch there and the inning is over a run on two hits in the inning for Boston home half of the eighth straight ahead and we are all tied five to five Alex Verdugo is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Keith Hembry is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Hembry. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and set to go is the second baseman Pat Valaika. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Ball one. Let's go, Two and oh. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Two oh well count, the pitch. <clears throat> You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. You see a right handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. With the play, Pedro Severino. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. The 1-0. High in the air into shallow left center. Brinton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Chris Davis, he singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2 and 0. Three and oh now. Jose Iglesias will be next. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Ramon Urias will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. First and second now, one man out. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Now the one and one pitch. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Now the two one pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. He'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Here now the 2-2. Freezes him on the inside. Strike three. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Into the box now, Dwight Smith Jr. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Comes set, the 0 1. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Richie Martin who will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base. Number one will be Martin. Hanser now, Alberto is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Alberto. Next up for the Red Sox, Michael Brantley. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Michael Brantley. He's set and the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Iglesias to his left. He's there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in, Rafael Devers. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Here it is. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit hard on the ground to the right. 
And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good wood on it. Sean Armstrong takes over on the mound in a tie ball game. There is one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Behind 0-2 now, Armstrong, originally from the Tar Heel State of North Carolina. He was taken in the 18th round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode and that brings in Xander Bogarts and this pitch is up and in as he backs away it's ball one there are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. The one and one pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. The Orioles with a chance to walk it off as we go to the last of the ninth. Josh Taylor comes on to work on the mound hoping to send this one into extra innings. Into the box now Trey Mancini he went deep back in the fifth. From the stretch. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and oh. Well those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Three oh pitch. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The 3 1 they swung on and missed for strike number two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit out towards second. And that's the first down. Digging in the switch hitter, Anthony Santander. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. 
Yeah, Maddie, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. In there, no balls and a strike. Taylor, a six-foot, five-inch left-hander. This is his second year as a major leaguer. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. One out, nobody on. Swing and a line drive. Foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now Coming to the plate now, Rio Ruiz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Here's the 1 0. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Bogarts onto the grass. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Tenth inning coming up, and we are all tied 5-5. Five to five. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Off the, off the, the right fielder, number 16, Andrew Benintendi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now the 0-2 pitch. At the ball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Smith arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Ready for another chance. Mitch Moreland. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. One oh. Bases are empty. One man out. Fouled away. One one home is a fastball taken high for a ball. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. The two two grounded the second, fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now battle. So team. stepping in, Michael, Michael Chavis. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Come set. The 0 1. 
yanked on the ground down the line. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Now that's popped up. Alberto waits on it, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. This ball game still tied 5-0. In now for the O's, Austin Hayes. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. He's set. Here it comes. Mm, couldn't quite pull that swing back. He went around for strike one. Pitch on the way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. So in case you're wondering, there's a look at what remains in the Boston bullpen. At the plate, Richie Martin. As he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1 0. The winning run is at first base. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. One and one pitch turned on down the line but a foul ball one and two the count now. Now the one and two pitch and a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times so he might be looking for it. Here's the two two pitch. Okay. Pedro Severino will be next. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Grounder down the line at third. One there. On to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. At the plate, Pedro Severino. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. At the plate, Hanser Alberto. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Brantley going back. Ball game! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. get the extra innings you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate but he says hey to heck with that I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat so a walk off home run ends this thing in extras that was fun the lineup was clicking for him in this contest and the man you see there was a major contributor for that he's the tops player of the game.
it wasn't a huge offensive day for him. He only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Put one out of here that ended up being a really important swing of the bat in this one. Big house. If a chick with me, she's like foreign cars. If a chick with me, she's like go yard. If a chick with me, she's like protein. Make a sick of rich clothes off. I'm cool, yo. I'm starting to think no one told y'all. My diamonds and stones water. I TD like Coach Carter. Huh? Hey, tell my no soda. Get with me, want some products. I pull it on time. Seven five tonight's final. Sean Armstrong earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.